This is the graphics creator by Laughing Bird Software. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you five beautiful graphics you can easily create right out of the box. Hey there, creatorpreneurs. My name is Mark Sylvester, and today I want to go over the trial version of the graphics creator with you. And I want to show you how easy it is to create these five types of graphics. We're going to quickly create a logo and a business card. And I'm going to show you how you can get it printed and shipped right to your front door. We're going to create an ebook cover. We're going to create some YouTube channel art. And we're going to create some motion graphics to get more social media traffic. All in under 15 minutes. And if you already have the graphics creator, keep watching. You're going to learn a few tips and tricks that you may not have known about. I'm also going to put up a coupon code that will give you a nice discount if you decide to purchase other template sets that come with the software. Okay, let's start by creating a quick logo we can use on one of our uh, web pages. So I'm going to scan for a template that I think looks uh, close enough to my idea. And I kind of see it here. I'm going to pick this one. And when it launches, I'm going to go to Format Canvas. And let's make the height a little bit uh, higher and the width. And for a logo page header thing, we don't need uh, the smoke here. It's too much. Um, probably don't want this for right now. Let's move this over. Let's move that here. And there's my rocket ship uh, icon. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a circle behind it. Put the circle here. I'm going to come over here to send it to back. And I want the, uh, a drop shadow a little bit harder here. So let's come over here to uh, image shadow. If you notice, when I click on text, the menu here changes to text options. If I click on an image, the menu here uh, turns to image options. So here I'm going to do um, click on image shadow. And I'm going to make it blurrier. Maybe uh, the distance a little bit further. And the angle let's put here. And now I want to put the same kind of shadow on the text. I'm also going to click on it and I'm going to come over here to text shadow and I'm going to make the same kind of shadow. Cool. Now I need to um, make the circle more uniform in color. So I'm going to come over here to shape color this time. I'm going to choose the eyedropper tool and turn it on and let's try picking up the yellow from power. No, it doesn't work because the ship is yellow. How about orange? No, how about the blue? Great, now we can use this on our page header, we can use this for our business. Now we're gonna make a quick business card out of this. So here's how you're gonna do that. You're gonna click on the canvas and then you're gonna come over here to these three buttons. You're gonna notice there's a grid that you can use to line things up, okay? There's also a YouTube design, which we'll get to very shortly. And there's also business card design. So when you click on this, it shrinks the canvas and gives you a gray border around the canvas. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow our cards to print from a print shop. So now we're gonna reposition everything. Okay, now, what do business cards need? They need our name, so I'm gonna click on this text and this font and this uh, size. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna choose duplicate. So I don't have to create new text, it just duplicates the exact same font, size, color. And I will shrink it. And then we will start typing our name. And I'm gonna come up here again and I'm gonna duplicate that. And down here. Okay, of course you can play around with the, with the um, left or right justified or put Laughing Bird in the center or however you wanna design your card. And one more thing we need, I think. I'm gonna come up here to photos and videos and I'm gonna click here. And over here, I'm gonna search our stock photos partner, Pexels. And I'm gonna type in, I don't know, space. And let's see what comes up. Here's an outer space picture. Let's see what else we have here real quick. Ah, perfect, look at that. I'm gonna bring this over and make it bigger and send it to the back. There, now our card's starting to shape up. Now, uh, a rocket ship is not gonna be for everybody, but if you happen to have your own symbol, for example, um, I have in my folder here, my little laughing birds here. I can just take one of my, my um, images and drag it from my desktop or from my hard drive right onto the canvas. There it is. Okay, and I can replace the rocket ship with my little bird character. And uh, let's come over here to image format and I'm gonna flip him so he's looking at the text instead. Okay, 
So now the space doesn't really fit. The space uh, background doesn't really fit. So just for the heck of it, for this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna hit undo a couple of times until my rocket ship comes back. Okay, now I'm gonna download it first. I'm gonna download the image as a business card or something, whatever you want. Download it, then I'm gonna hop over onto the web and I'm gonna type in Vista Print, which is a print shop online that we can upload our graphic to. And I'm gonna come over here to the business cards and I'm gonna come down here where it says upload your design. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna find one of the cards I want. We can have rounded edges, square, vertical, but I like the standard business card here. So I'm gonna click it. And when it comes up, we can upload our design by clicking on the image and he, um, tapping add image from my computer. Bam. And, you, and if you remember the gray square Vistaprint calls this a bleed. It's a safety line so that when they cut the cards to have printed, your text won't be cut off. And it fits perfectly. And it says the image resolution looks great. So I'm gonna choose next. And there is our finished card. I have reviewed my design, love it. I'm gonna hit next. And they give you a couple more previews like this uh, 3D option to see what the card looks like. <laughs> you can even turn it over in the back if you had it back. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So I want 100 cards for 15 bucks. Look at that really quick and it ships in maybe 48 hours sometimes the next day but I've had it shipped to me in about two days um, I could get uh, 1500 1000 cards 250 for a dollar more look at that a dollar more and I get double my card so that's perfect 16 bucks I'm gonna hit next and they're gonna give you some more options to use your logo on like a pen with your logo on it mouse pads postcards a coffee mug with the graphics we created. Make a hat. It's really cool. It's a really cool service and it's very quick and the image looks great. Okay, so that is a logo and business card that you can create with the graphics creator. Now, if you want even more logo templates, when you're on the home screen, come up here to get more designs and click it. It'll take you to our website where you can scroll all of the template sets that we have. Come up here to the logo creator. Now the logo template set contains 175 different logos that you can easily modify and add images to. Al we have alphabet characters and there's hundreds and hundreds of elements. If you come up here to the elements and you click on the logo elements, you're gonna find lots of letter images that you can drag onto the canvas, other elements, different orbs and swooshes, abstract elements. That is the logo and business card template set. Okay, now we're gonna quickly build an ebook cover. So built into the graphics creator, I'm gonna click on this template here. Built into the graphics creator, we have what we call placeholder images. And if you have a graphic on your desktop, like the very one we just did, so I'm gonna open up that folder and I'm gonna drag uh, the business card image right onto it. Bam, it will replace the placeholder with your graphic. If you click on it, you're gonna notice that we have uh, format handles. If I turn these on, I can kind of manipulate the shape a little bit. So watch this. I'm going to hop onto Google really quick and I'm going to type in um, eCover PNG. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure I'm on the Images tab and I'm going to come over to the Tools and make sure when I click here, Usage Rights, that my usage rights are labeled for reuse. These are Creative Commons images that you are free to use. Okay, I'm gonna find a really quick e-cover for the demonstration here. Here's one by uh, Pixabay. I'm gonna download this, and now I'm gonna jump back into the graphics creator, and I'm gonna choose a cover that I wanna begin creating for my book. So let's do this one, That's this is really cool. Okay, just like everything inside the graphics creator, everything is modifiable. I can modify the images here, I can change the text, okay? But for the demonstration here I'm doing for you, but for this demo, I'm just gonna uh, download this image to my, um, to my downloads folder. Call this flowers, I guess. Download it. Okay, now I'm gonna delete everything on the canvas. Everything, everything. Maybe not the text, so let's leave the text here for a second. And I'm going to set the canvas color so we can see everything. Okay, now we're gonna bring in our e-cover, watch this. Okay, here's the cover I've sa I saved from Google um, Pixabay. I'm gonna bring it on, okay? And I search for PNG because most times PNGs are transparent. 
and here's my book image. Then I'm gonna come up here to the menu and I'm gonna choose new placeholder. Okay, and it's gonna give me this square thing. And over here, I, I like I told you before, the enable format handles, I'm gonna click on it. And now I'm gonna place the handles right where I think my image should be on this book. And I'm gonna turn off the handles and then I'm gonna grab the image we just saved from my downloads folder. And as long as this placeholder is selected, you can tell it's selected by the yellow outline. And I'm gonna come over here and drag my flowers onto it. And bam, a beautiful ebook. And now I can take the text that I didn't delete on purpose because now we're gonna create a little ad out of it. I wanna let you know that we also have e-covers and mockups. And the e-cover and mockups contain already done for you templates. It also contains done for you box shots so that you can drag your images that you create, just like I showed you, on top of all these pre-designed images. Okay, back inside the graphics creator where we're gonna create our, our ad. We'll come up here to photos and videos and we'll type in um, sunset. And we're gonna scroll down really fast to see what kind of graphics we have. Ah, beautiful, fits, bring it over and modify the text a little bit so that it you know, fits the, the background and change the color and everything. Awesome, that is a pretty cool ad. Now, what if we wanted to make a motion graphic to make this beach move? Okay, let's try that really quick for our next graphic. Let's delete this background, come up here to photos and videos. We're gonna select videos instead. We have photos and videos, and now we're gonna type in uh, beach and hit return. Now you're gonna get a whole bunch of animation from Pexels. If you roll your mouse over the, over the thumbnails, you'll see the, uh, the video and what it looks like. You're gonna get hundreds of them. Okay, so let's just do this one because it's the first one. I'm going to download it. It's free to, to download and it's free to use. And once it's downloaded, let's open it up real quick and we're just gonna drag it right onto the canvas. And there it is. And there's my animation. I can manipulate it a little bit. Now, this one looks pretty cool. It doesn't particularly fit everything because there's too, it's too busy, but you get the idea. You can find thousands and thousands of graphics for yourself and animated videos. And then once you have your perfect layout, you can click on the background and you'll notice over here now, we have video recording features. I can choose video record and I'm not gonna go through this whole thing in this particular demo, but I have other tutorial videos I've done showing you exactly how to make a really neat animated graphic. Okay, real quick, back on our website, we have a motion graphics pack that has hundreds of uh, motion backgrounds. So when you install them, go to elements, and then you're gonna find your motion backgrounds, and there's a whole bunch. You're gonna be able to drag them onto the canvas and modify them so that you have a really neat background. There's even some fire animations. Let's move this out of the way and bring fire into it. There you go. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, the last graphic we're gonna make with our 40 free templates that come with the trial version, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna find, uh, let's do this one. This is a good one. And we're gonna make uh, some YouTube channel art with this. So already this can be a thumbnail for a, uh, or one of your videos if you have a YouTube channel. Okay, uh, everything, like I said before, is modifiable. The leaves uh, come in front of the text. The text can be changed. Cool. Now, maybe we don't like this background, so I can take it and I can delete it. Come up here to Photos and type in Jungle or whatever fits our site. Um, this looks cool. Okay, now we're gonna come over here to the Format Canvas button and we're gonna come back to these buttons. Here's our business card button. Now we're gonna go to the YouTube design button and we're gonna click it. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna create a gigantic canvas with a whole bunch of squares and colors on it. So now our job is to modify the background so it fits. And grow everything. And we wanna put our text into this little area here. And I'll show you why. So let's modify all of our graphics like they were before, but we're gonna fit them into our YouTube banner. Here are these bushes here, let's make these bigger. And once you have it all placed again, we're gonna go to Format Canvas, and we're gonna turn off this so we can see our design. 
there it is, it looks pretty good. And now we're gonna download this to our computer and then we're gonna launch our YouTube channel. Now again, if you don't have a YouTube channel, it's okay because one day you're gonna need this. Uh, everybody has to have a YouTube channel because YouTube is so powerful, I'm telling you. You need to create some videos. Okay, then all we're gonna do is come over here to customize channel. This is my YouTube channel, by the way. We're gonna come over here and roll our mouse over it and we're gonna see a, a little edit icon here. We're gonna click it and we're gonna edit our channel art. And we're going to select from my computer. And here's my YouTube banner that I made. And now, sized perfectly, we have a banner that will fit desktop computers. If you're looking at YouTube on a desktop, it'll fit your Apple TV or your Roku or your Amazon Fire TV, right? And it fits like this. And the YouTube uh, banner here will fit your mobile phone. So that's exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna select it. And in a couple seconds, this changes. Bam, and it's sized perfectly for all three of those devices. So back in the software, that's why when you click on this YouTube uh, design, you'll notice all these crazy colors. The big area is your TV set. This stripe here is your desktop. And this yellowish, this uh, lighter color in the center is your mobile phone. So if you feel like getting the YouTube channel art template set, you can come back to our website and down here we have the YouTube channel art graphics. It contains YouTube banners and pre-made YouTube thumbnails that you can modify. The banners all fit the size I had just shown you. So if you click on one, you'll notice that they all fit into the template. And the template set also contains YouTube thumbnails so that you can put all of these graphics after you modify them and use them as your thumbnail images like I did for all of the videos that I create on, on my YouTube channel. So that is the graphics creator by Laughing Bird Software. You can download the trial version by clicking on this little icon here. You'll also get a coupon code good for any of the template sets in the store. If you can't see it or you're on a mobile device, look for this link somewhere near the video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more of the tutorials. And I'll see you next time.